Up next now, the Washington Bullets. And now we're getting to where you're not exactly sure who these teams are going to pick, even after the first four. But the fifth pick, most people are speculating, perhaps Jawan Howard out of Michigan. Let's find out from David Stern. With the fifth pick in the 1994 NBA draft, the Washington Bullets select Jawan Howard from the University of Michigan. So no surprises so far for the first five selections. Jawan Howard, he's 21 years old, played his high school basketball at Chicago Vocational. Steve Fisher, his coach and the man who recruited the Fab Five at Michigan, and they are going fast. <laughs> and this, is, this was the first recruit of the Fab Five, and I think he's one of the stabilizing factors of that uh, Fab Five unit, is an excellent low post player, very fundamentally sound. His numbers, QB every year, 11 points to 14 to almost 21 this year. Field goal percentage, almost 56% this year. So this is a very, very sound fundamental player who should be a very nice piece again to that Washington Bullet puzzle. You look at Don McClain now, you look at Gugliotta, Calvert Chaney, Rex Chapman. If they can get some play from Duckworth in the middle, this could be a team that gets better in a hurry. No, I agree with you because this guy at 6'9", 250, can hold his spot and in the NBA that's NBA that's the key at power forward can you hold your area and rebound in traffic and when they do hit you on the post do you have the offensive moves to score and he has the package well this is a young man whose draft stock went up significantly with his play in the NCAAs where he averaged 29 points a game and really drew a lot of national attention he had been less popular and less famous than Chris Webber and then even Jalen Rose but Jawan Howard now goes to the Washington Bullets and here are the vitals ninth leading score in the NCAA tournament history at 280 points he's six eight and a half the first power player to go in this draft of 1994 yeah and you see his moves around the basket too he's a guy that can catch the ball he plays with his back to the basket he's got nice soft hands he'll rebound the ball and follow it up here with a nice power dunk and he plays with energy and emotion, and you really like that in your big people. He can step out on the floor, does not have three-point range, probably about 15 to 17 feet. He only made one college three-point shot, so he's going to operate within 15 feet. Uh, Hubie, as we look at his strengths and weaknesses here, how does he fit in with Washington? You know, they've got problems with injuries to Purvis Ellison. Duckworth has not has been a disappointment with Washington. How does this young man step in? Yeah, but you're hoping that Duckworth and then your son at the center position will play big, and then you have the luxury of a Gugliotta, a Howard, and McLean because Gugliotta can play both sides. So what you're doing is you are building your front court strength. That's what we said at the top of the show. Don't worry about duplication. In. Let's get quality and form competition. Let's meet Juwan Howard now. He's with Craig Sager. Well, Juwan, you were raised by your grandmother who passed away as you left high school. You went to Michigan, found a new family. How tough was it to leave that family to go to the NBA? Well, it was hard. You know, uh, you got to make big changes in life, and uh, there are times when you have to make big decisions. And that was a big decision for me, and now it's time for me to move on with my life. Now, the people at the uh, University of Michigan in Ann Arbor, you know, they're going to miss me, and I'm going to miss Ann Arbor, but I'm still going to go back and treat it like home for me. As for Washington, you played center at Michigan, probably playing forward now. How do you adapt to that transition period when changing positions? Well, I have no problem with it at all. First of all, it's going to you know, start in practice. You know, certain things and certain players, you know, have to adjust to situations like that. And I'm one of those guys who's willing to work and do whatever it takes to help, you know, Washington Bullets a better and great team. Sounds like you're ready to me. Good luck. Let's go back to Bob. 